we see thousands of kids within, in a month. I mean, from all areas of the community. And what we find a lot of times, especially with our immigrant populations, is that um, those parents are so happy to be here and very focused on their education. They're the parents and grandparents who are in our homework club every day. But they don't realize that the health of their children, the actual physical health and mental health, is just as important as the education and as a whole package. So I think programs like that can go a long way. You know, working with youth, I mean, the work of some of the nonprofits like the Boys and Girls Club, I served on their board for many years, you know, making sure that youngsters get fed. Uh, coached, and I, I saw a lot of kids in this community who uh, parents are working six, seven days a week, and the kids are on their own. And unfortunately, sometimes you probably run across them when they get older. They don't have that, you know, that structure at home, and sometimes they're not even being, you know, getting you know, three meals a day. And uh, organizations like the Boys and Girls Club, and I believe Girls Inc. as well, have stepped up, and, you know, and really helped in that regard. As have the schools, so any support they can get to help young people as well. I know some of we get focused on homeless, which is very important to acknowledge the work that's been done. But there's a lot of young people in our community that, that can use some help too. And I think they're getting it. And the more of those services we can provide, the better as well. So I think for a healthy community for us, uh, because I'm spending so much time with seniors, and more and more are becoming more isolated within their homes. And the greatest thing that I'm responding to on a regular basis is the fatigue of the caregivers. Mm -hmm. And um, we just don't have an excellent model on that yet, on how we take care of the caregivers, because then my experience has been now I have two unhealthy people um, to be dealing with on a regular basis. And the caregivers die first. And many times the caregivers die first.